Special delivery for Limo Griffin. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Awesome. Need the signature for that. All right. That's great. Awesome. Thanks very much. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. What's on the bloody banner? And also, how did it fit in that box? Hmm. Anyway, let's go find out. And by the way, if you don't know already, my name is Liam Griffin. I'm the head coach here in SBG Cork, and our fight team is striving to get to the very, very top. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. We have a new episode every Monday, and the next part of our story unfolds. Let's go. Okay, so it's the Bellator poster from the February event, just gone. Big deal, you say. But hold on. Let me tell you what I see. I see a wall of inspiration. Remember, this is not just the fight poster. Actually, this isn't even the fight poster. This is a collection of fighters from a single gym, SBG Ireland. 16 of them. That's a crazy amount of fighters to have on one card from a single gym. And that's not all of them. There's a whole army of fighters behind these guys just waiting for their big break. I see three generations of athletes on this banner. You've got the OGs who are still tearing it up. You've got the young superstars who were inspired by that generation. And now you have a whole new wave of athletes. A bunch of pros who are early in their career and making a huge name for themselves. So I count no less than seven athletes on that poster all of whom were just a few short years ago competing on IMAF events, including world silver medalist Danny Nealon and world gold medalist Franz Malambo. So those guys were where our guys are right now. And I find that hugely inspiring. There is a story of epic sacrifice behind the eyes of every face on this poster. Take Peter Quilly, for example, originally from Waterford, southeast coast of Ireland. And when he moved to Dublin, he had no money for accommodation and he slept in the car outside the gym. And then you have the man on top, of course, Coach Kavanagh, and he's looking quite happy with himself, isn't he? And why not? I mean, it's an incredible achievement to have coached the most famous combat athlete on the planet. But just in case you thought he was a one hit wonder, here he is doing it again and again and again. But what inspires me more than anything else is imagining our very own version of this banner. I see our guys here in SBG Cork put in tremendous work, make massive sacrifices on a daily basis. We are not just dreaming of the day that we can do this, we're actively pursuing it. We're pursuing it in the way that we train, in the way that we compete, and in our daily habits. We're obsessed and we will be there. I've been to the UFC and Bellator events at the Three Arena before, but this time was different. On this trip, I wanted to visualize what it'd be like to be part of the event, even being in the main event. Now, we had a bit of a mishap when we underestimated the Dublin City traffic. We ended up watching the early prelims on the Bellator app in the car on the way there. But we got there in the end, and this, this is what it was all about walking out through that tunnel into the screaming hordes of Irish fight fans. The most passionate fight fans on the planet. All singing at the top of their lungs. That's what it's all about. That's where we're visualizing being. There's always some fight fans that have that little bit too much passion. Squeeze! Squeeze! Squeeze the fucking throat! Squeeze! Just squeeze his fucking head! 
Squeeze! Squeeze it! That entire Bellator fight card was like rocket fuel for my motivation. And when I got back to Cork, this was waiting here for me. It's now become for me a token of what's to come for the SPG Cork fight team. Every time I catch a glimpse of it, adrenaline courses through my veins. To you, it might just be another fight poster. But for me, this is what I see.